Today is Global Accessibility Awareness Day and we're going to showcase some cool smartphone features and some equally cool apps that can support everyone's digital capability so we can all get the most out of technology. The three discovery team provide digital skills workshops to tens of thousands of people each year and it would be of no surprise I'm sure that plenty of these people have some form of accessibility need. Therefore we thought we'd take this opportunity to show you what some of the tech is actually capable of. First up, hearing or audible. Starting with the iPhone, there's a feature that's been around for quite a while, but it's not often used which is why we're going to shout about it today. Grab your iPhone or iPad and jump into the settings. Navigate your way down to the control center and from here, add the hearing to the shortcut list. Next, open up the control center by dragging this corner down and tap on the symbol with the ear. Turn your compatible headphones on. In this case, we're using AirPods. Pop one in your ear and then tap on Live Listen. In essence, your phone becomes a microphone that will channel the sound direct to your ear and therefore you can place your phone anywhere in the room and still get the sound. If you have the noise cancelling headphones, then come back into the control centre, long press on the volume button and there you can change the noise cancellation settings. One other little feature that we think is really nice is if you just want to kick back and relax is the ability to switch from live listen to background sounds. There's a variety of white noise to built into the same hearing app. Just give this a tap and choose the sound you want. Set the volume and close your eyes. Modern smartphones just seem to get cleverer by the day and it's no wonder as over 1 billion people worldwide have a recognised disability. So to ensure that everyone can connect with technology, technology has to connect with everyone. Samsung has a stack of features within their accessibility menu, but one feature we really love is Live Transcribe. We're going to jump into the settings here and scroll down to accessibility and then we're going to choose advanced settings. At the top of the list is the accessibility button. We're going to choose some actions and we want to assign is live transcribe and magnification. Once selected, tap the home button and then we are ready to go. On the navigation bar you can see a little image of a person. Just give it a tap and then choose live transcribe. You can now see that whatever my device can hear is displayed on the screen, including ambient sounds like wind and bird sounds. What I love about this feature is that it caters for everyone. So for example, if you wanted to offer up a reply, but if I'm non-verbal, then I can tap on the keyboard and type. Furthermore, there's a settings menu that allows you to change the font size. You can even save the transcription history and even this really clever mode that tells your phone to alert you if it hears sounds such as a smoke alarm or a baby crying. Have a look around and see what else you may find. Back with Apple, we're going to head into settings, back into the control center, where we're going to find the text size and magnifier. Add both of these and then swipe so you get back to the home screen. When you pull down from the corner, tap on the button with the double A this way, you can start increasing the size of the text that you will see on your screen. It's really simple. You do the same with the magnifier, but this will help you see things better. 
You do pretty much the same thing with the magnifier, but this will help you see things better that are not on your screen. Just slide the zoom levels over and hey presto, everything becomes clearer. On the Samsung, we're heading back to the accessibility button and magnification. Again, really simple but wonderful if you find the content on your screen too small. Simply tap the arrows in the corner for a full screen zoom. Use two fingers to scroll around and then you can even pinch to zoom in even further. If you press the arrow in the corner again, a new option will appear for a window. Resize as you wish and then two fingers to move around. This is as easy as that to use and once set, no more hunting through a ton of menus to activate. Dexterity features are designed to cover off a variety of different accessibility needs. Even for those that can't physically hold a device, manufacturers are always trying to develop their technology to work for everyone. A common feature found among devices is that of an assistive menu, but people will often wonder why it's there. These work brilliantly for those that have a lack of motor skills for whatever reason, Lightly touching a screen as opposed to force pressing a button may for some be the only way in which they can interact with a device. Samsung's assistant menu and Apple's assistive touch are quite brilliant at lending a helping hand. I'm just going to choose the basic options in both of the menus because as much of what I would want is already here. But do bear in mind that they are equally as customizable. Now you've got the floating menu that removes the need of pressing buttons and making screen gestures. You can move the button at a reach that is comfortable, offering features like a mouse pointer, as well as screen swiping, power, and so on. Plus, there's the ability to have contextual menus to some of your apps. For example, if you activate your phone dialer, the contextual menu will give you other options to make life so much easier. Apple's assistive touch is so similar, so we encourage you to go and explore and see what you can find. You'll find loads more of these features on your devices, so if you'd like to get close up and experience some of these for yourselves, why not head over to one of our stores where we would be delighted to see you.